Also, one of the top comic magicians in the world. A very funny guy has something kind of special for us tonight on the show. Martin Lewis. Nice round of applause for Martin. We got so much show coming up for you. We're going to get right into the entertainment this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, out of San Francisco, uh, kind of a newcomer to Laps and Limit. I think you'll enjoy a very special young lady. Very special. Kind of like Special Olympics. I think you'll see what I mean. Let's have a nice round of applause for opening act tonight. Destiny, right here. Destiny, let's hear it. Yeah. Hi, how are you guys doing? My name is Destiny, and yes, my parents are hippies. <laughs> I had a different childhood. Most parents took their children to amusement parks. My parents took me to so many sit-ins, I didn't learn how to walk until I was 10. <laughs> I had a Kool-Aid stand, like most of the kids, right in front of the house, like everyone. My parents kept on spiking it with LSD. <laughs> I made 12,000 that summer. <laughs> My mother used to make a big deal out of everything. Remember when I got my period for the first time, she threw me a surprise party. <laughs> Very embarrassing. Should have seen the invitations. <laughs> I didn't know Hallmark made those cards. <laughs> Kept missing that section. 100 people showed up, it was fun. Kathy Rigby was there, Brenda Vaccaro. <laughs> with my boyfriend now. He's great. It's nice. It's a nice relationship. He has some odd habits, though, you know. He likes to walk around the house naked. That's really odd. Any of the men out there like to walk around the house naked? Well, it's not just our house. It's any house. <laughs> Very embarrassing on Thanksgiving. <laughs> Don't drop the gravy. Got my very own Macy's credit card. Very excited about that. That was really exciting. It's mine. It has my name on it, but my boyfriend pays for the bills. So I can use it. I just can't come home. <laughs> the way he gave it to me was great, too. He said, here, honey, here's your very own Macy's credit card. But don't use it. Only in case of an emergency. What kind of an emergency is going to come up with a Macy's credit card? What am I going to do? Go to work and forget my clothes? <laughs> Oh, God, I'm naked. <laughs> Thank God I had that Macy's credit card taped to my ankle. <laughs> I don't understand this. My hair is finally growing out. So. Mm. I do so much to it, you know, I'm constantly cutting it, perming it, dyeing it, cutting it, perming it, dyeing it. Most girls tease their hair. I'm tormenting mine. <laughs> had this nightmare last night that I woke up completely bald with a note right by my head saying, Destiny, we just couldn't take it anymore. <laughs> Signed your hair. <laughs> wear a lot of hairspray, too. Ladies, do you wear a lot of hairspray? I wear so much hairspray, you go into my bathroom, there are flies stuck in midair. <laughs> you people have been great. My name is Destiny. Ladies and gentlemen, Destiny from San Francisco. We'll be right back after this. The other day, my granddaughter said to me, Grandpa, get with it. Let's go shopping in old Sacramento. We'll have a great time. Well, she was right. We explored all day long. No two shops are alike. I found everything on my shopping list, from everyday needs to that one-of-a-kind find. To top it off, we had a great meal. And if I drive, there's plenty of nearby covered parking. Oh, got to run. Here's my granddaughter. Hi, Dad. Old Sacramento, moving history forward. Don't ever, ever, ever do this. What are these people laughing at? They're laughing at America's best comics from Laughs Unlimited, Northern California's top comedy nightclubs. For great live laughs every week, make reservations at these Laughs Unlimited locations in Sacramento, Citrus Heights, and Stockton. Oh, by the way, bow wow. I could have lived in Kansas, I could have lived in Maine, but 
I call my home California, baby. The land of fortune and fame. And if I ever hit the big time, I'm gonna make a stand. And I'll pledge my allegiance to the king of beers. I'm a genuine bud man. The bud bud. The bud bud. I'm a bud man. This is the Honda Civic hatchback. It cost me just $61.28. It's got reclining bucket seats and headrests. Pull down rear seat back, remote operated outside mirror, rear window defroster, power assisted self adjusting disc brakes, radial tires, flush mounted headlights, and gas shock absorbers. And it's got a whole lot more. What made me happy about number one Honda is a lot of options are standard equipment. <laughs> Welcome back to Laughs. We have some great entertainment coming up for you. One of a world-renowned comic magician has been here many times. I think you'll enjoy him. Let's have a nice round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Martin Lewis. I've pretty much searched all over the world to try and find a magic trick that I could present to American audiences that would be something different, something unique. And I think I found it in the form of a magic trick from the second century of Japan's history. It's called Tamasudare, or the magic mat. And it's a bamboo mat that is twisted and folded to form figures. These figures illustrate a story. Now, the story doesn't translate well into English, but I think you'll find the figures speak a universal language. I do hope you enjoy this presentation of Tamasudare. Now, the mat itself is manufactured from 56 sticks. Each one held together by an individual thread. And the story of Tamasudare goes like this. You see, it seems that there was a fellow who was fishing one day in his boat when he happened to pass beneath a bridge. Well, he looked up and standing on the bridge, he saw an elderly fellow with a fishing pole. He uh, stopped his boat and moored it and was invited by this fellow to his home for tea. The home was of the traditional tatami style, and in our story, it was shown to look like this. Well, from the home, they went for a walk in the gardens of a Shinto temple. The gates of the temple stood tall as they entered. And as they talked, their conversation turned to that topic most familiar to fishermen, and that, of course, was the size of their catch. Our fellow claiming the fish he had caught that day must have been at least this big. <laughs> Their journey continued until, in a side street, they saw a sign for a wayside inn. They entered the inn and they talked. They talked all night until in the morning the sun came up and the rising sun was shown to look like this. At that time, Japan was a nation divided. There were those that fought beneath the flag of the white dragon and those beneath the flag of the red dragon. But in the end of our story, all was united in peace and harmony beneath the weeping willow tree. And the weeping willow tree was shown to look like this. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Martin Lewis. Right now, we're gonna go to the man out in the street with all the videos. Home video of the week, Tony King. Let's hear it for Tony King. Oh, thanks, Scott. This is Tony King here with another home video of the week. This week's home video movie is coming from one of my adoring fans, but they haven't... Oh, well, this must be them right here on the phone. Let's find out who it is. Hi. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, that's a good one. Great. Okay. Looking forward to it. Bye. This week's home video movie comes to us from Bruce Bum. So take it away, Bruce. <laughs>
on this one, pal. You're going all the way. Thanks. Folks, another great film from Bruce Baum for this week's Tony King's Home Video. We got a great one coming up next week as well, and we got more laughs coming up for you right after this word. So we'll see you soon. Bye! They're back with a whole new show. Sesame Street Live presents Big Bird Goes Hollywood. All your favorite Muppet characters from Sesame Street are life-size, on stage, and ready to have a great time. Quiet on the set! That's the idea. Get your tickets now for opening night, Wednesday, May 6th at Arco Arena. Stop by any Bass ticket outlet or call 395-BASS today. Sesame Street Live, sponsored by Bel Air Markets and Channel 10 in the spirit of California. Crashing our crew, busting our heads just for you. My name is Vince, this job makes me sore. If you'd buckle up, I wouldn't do it no more. They call me Larry, I'm a dummy too. When you don't buckle up, the dummy is you. Buckle that belt. These are professional dummies. Do not attempt this at home. Buckle up, buckle up, buckle up. Buckle up. So one thing to say, and we know we're not wrong. When you go for a ride, put your safety belt on. I'm Scott Grimes. What does a kid know about AIDS? I know it's a serious disease that some kids have, but I'm not worried about getting AIDS from them because you can't get AIDS from sharing pencils, or school books, or just being around someone. Those are the facts. What does a kid know about AIDS? A lot. Here's a chance for Sacramento area businesses to take part in something really worthwhile. The Sacramento City Unified School District's Adopt-A-School program. By advertising the coupon redemption in the Adopt-A-School brochure, you'll provide incentives for students to achieve good grades. And, and at the same time, you're out where we over 45,000 students and their families. Most of Look the advertising out. profits will be divided among the schools for their awards ceremonies. Everybody, Everybody wins. wins. The school, the kids, and you. Call 454-8643 for more details. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a nice round of applause. A real regular here at Last Limited, and a good friend of ours goes way back. Denny Johnson, right here. Denny Johnson. Thank you. How you doing? Like impression? Yeah. All right, this is my impression of John Boy on the Walton. I worked on that for like eight years. And, uh, <laughs> this is every 7-Eleven night manager. Do you want the big burrito or the small burrito? Come on, give me two. You must fuck your guest. You must stay. <laughs> How many of you like country western music? <laughs> then you're gonna hate this song. Some crusty cheese dip all caked up around my mouth. 
I wrote this. And my shirt, it had a spot. My peach and drip, cause it's off the top. And my pants, they had a tear. Hell, you can see my curly hair. <laughs> got a load again. Don't know just why, but I've got a load again. I love these. I like to wear these when I drive my car, you know? <laughs> People go, what the hell is that? <laughs> Don't look! <laughs> my brother, uh, my brother is a, a dentist and he made these for my birthday, aren't they nice? Here, you want to wear them? Here. <laughs> You know, you girls, you worry about getting attacked, right? So you buy maze cams, you uh, take self-defense courses. Just get your dentist to make you a pair of these. <laughs> Next time a couple of guys bother you in a dark alley, just go. Hey, you boys want to come up to my house and friends, kids? Davis Wheeler. I'm president of the Carpenter Union in Bakersfield, California. And I have several safety tips for you. When cutting two by fours with the power skills on, make sure that you always wear a pair of these here safety gogglers. Even though they do make you look like an alien space dork. They do. Either that or someone played a mean trick on you with a gas station air hose. That don't paint a pretty picture, does it? Then uh, safety tip number two. Don't ever, ever, ever do this. Thank you. Hey, I'd like to slow things down now a little bit. <laughs> Feelings. Nothing more than Feelings. Baby, baby, don't get hooked on me. Aren't these strange? I'll tell you what's strange. Somebody made them. What if your dad made these for a living? Be real proud of them, wouldn't you? I'd rather get my butt kicked by Bob Barker. I don't know what they are. I bought them for 35 cents in a thrift shop. And I know I paid way too much. People tell me they're welding glasses, swimming goggles, sun tanning glasses. I don't even care what they are. All I know is, hey, they're mine now. <laughs> Someday I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna get up the nerve and wear these into a bank. in the morning. Really. Yeah! Give me a box of Cheerio and a lottery ticket. And these are the guys that always win. Quicker 
impression of Madonna. <laughs> this is what it sounds like when turkeys make love. How many of you hate to leave messages on telephone answering machines? Here's a fun thing to do next time you call and a machine answers. Make the owner of the machine think something's wrong with it. Leave a message like this. I'd like to do an impression now. This is uh, Jimmy Stewart singing the Beatles song, Blackbird. people laughing at they're laughing at America's best comics from last unlimited Northern California's top comedy nightclubs for great live laughs every week make reservations at these last unlimited locations in Sacramento Citrus Heights and Stockton oh by the way bow wow Well, you know about the 3.9% financing, you know about the big rebates, but I can sell you a brand new shitty car or truck, you can put the rebate in your pocket, no money down, you keep the rebate, we do it with lease purchase financing. All you do is pay low lease payments, at the end of the lease you pay the final payment and you own the car or the truck. Have a look at this. This is the new 88 Corsica, the brand new 88 Chevy Corsica, just $153 a month. Now here's the new Beretta, the new 88 Chevy Beretta that everybody's talking about, $163 a month. And look at this, a brand new Chevette, brand spanking new Chevy Chevette, $114 a month, a brand new Sprint by Suzuki, a brand new Sprint, $127 a month, and here's a brand new Mitsubishi pickup, just $141 a month. It's Worthington Mitsubishi and Worthington Chevrolet, the only way. We're open till midnight every day. Bring the family, come and see us, I'll see you here. Well, smoking ain't hip, in fact it's a drag. Sucking it in's just not my bag. Smoky clothes I can do without. Whatever you're into, smoking's out. Flicking off ashes, looking like a fool. Everybody knows that smoking ain't cool. No, no, no. Look around, there's no doubt. Whatever you're into, smoking's out. Hey, we hope you enjoyed the show tonight. Thanks a lot, Denny. We'd like to thank Destiny, who's up for there, also Martin Lewis. We hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks a lot. Keep watching loud. Last
This has been brought to you by my good friends at Lapka Limited. Come by any of their showrooms in Sacramento, Citrus Heights, and Stockton for a great show this week. Women who date married men on the next Oprah Winfrey Show.